Hi, I'm back again. Um, this time I'm going to, I think there's about maybe three canvases that I'm working on during this um, short little video. And I just wanted to kind of take an opportunity to share with you all some of my process uh, when I'm just kind of beginning to fill orders for galleries. And so I like to work multiple canvases at the same time. I'm sure you've heard that um, a few times or, or me say that a few times. It's just, I find it's easier um, as I'm mixing all of my paints that I add it to um, a whole bunch of canvases instead of you know, working on one individually. Now I don't work on multiples all the way to the end of the actual finished piece. So as you can see there, I switched over to uh, another, I think this is a 40 by 40. Uh, the one before that was a 48 by 60. And there's this one layer on that right there. Uh, it's, I think it's phthalo blue mixed with black. And, um, and I just add a, a quick little layer over top of the canvas. And are you going to see this at the end? Um, you might see little bits of it. Um, and as you can see, um, quick little second layer on that. And then poof, I'm on to the next canvas. Just making some adjustments on my easel. So now this one has quite a few more layers. And the reason I'm flipping it constantly there is I can't remember which way it was supposed to go. Um, or which way I was originally painting it. So I think I've I've settled on this one. So there's probably about three or four more layers on this piece here. And so I'm using my water bottle and going over it with some just straight out of the bottle magenta. Um, and that will highlight some other areas that are already on the canvas. Um, and it'll, it'll um, because it's translucent, more of a transparent um, color, it, it will change some of the colors that are already on the canvas. So I'm getting a couple of birds with one stone. And now I'm adding some cadmium orange, just some little pops of color here and there. And I just want you to know too, like we're two minutes, uh, three minutes into this video, at the end of this video, none of these canvases are done. And that, again, at the end of these videos, if you think that that's how I paint, you'll probably never come back to my channel again. Um, so don't forget to go to my website or my Insta, lauriemarabelli.com for my website and actually see some of my, my finished pieces. I always um, enjoy watching myself paint because I think, God, what am I doing? Um, it, this is my process. This is the thing that I have to go through in order to get to the finished piece. It's a bit of, um, it's time consuming, but it's also therapeutic. Um, and uh, I, I can see I'm taking a phone call there. Yes, I am talking on the phone and painting. Um, when the, the mood takes you and you have to paint, you don't stop for a phone call. And so you can see I'm spending a little bit more time with this painting. Um, in my head, I think, oh, I can take this to the end, right? I'm, I'm at that stage where um, it's starting to speak to me and I want to take it further. And so when that happens, I don't like to switch out. And I'll, I'll just stick with one right to the end, but... You'll see how, how this, how this um, video develops and in, in what I do. I'm starting to come in with some of a, some sort of a white mixture that I make. Um, not make, make, but I mix some colors into white and I'm starting to carve out some areas that I find interesting. And phone calls done, music's back on. I'm ready to go. Uh, a few of you have asked why I dance when I paint. Um, it started because I realized that it helped. I was really frustrated one day, truthfully. I was trying to get 
some ideas out that were in my head onto canvas and it just wasn't working and I was really quite frustrated. And um, a really cool song came on and I just started dancing and throwing paint on the canvas and kind of just lost myself. And the next thing I remember, I looked up and I had this wickedly cool painting in front of me. I don't quite remember how I did it. And I'm not even sure if I was present while I was creating it. Um, I was just off in another land, totally zoned out, listening to music, having a blast. And uh, so I realized that that's, that's the spot, my sweet spot. And, and lis listening to music kind of helps me get there. Sometimes, not all the time. I guess uh, it <laughs> I laugh at myself when I see myself dance. It's like, oh, why? So this is one of the reasons why I was very hesitant to, to uh, record myself painting because uh, I've been doing this for so long that uh, it's hard for me not to kind of move and paint. So, so as I'm, I'm looking at myself painting this, not looking at myself, but looking at the canvas, I kind of like what I see and I really wish I would have maybe focused a little bit more there are some areas that are are quite quite interesting in this piece and i i probably could have completed a really cool painting with this but i got distracted my concentration broke and um maybe it wasn't the right song i don't i don't know exactly what happened but and you can see <laughs> You can see when I dance more, that's kind of where I'm like, mm, I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. And I've come out of that sort of meditative trance. And here I grabbed uh, a new color I'm working with, graphite gray, I think, from Golden. And uh, it's got a shimmer to it. It's almost like if you ground up pencil and, and added some pouring medium or acrylic medium to it, it, that's the color it would be. It's kind of shimmery. So I, I wasn't keen on that. And then that just kind of, then I really lost focus. But you know what? Everything you do, all the mistakes you make in a painting, in the end, add to the character of it. So I, I try not to be hard, of my, hard on myself at the end of a day when I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere. And this is what I do. So as you can tell, I'm like, okay, yeah, this painting, nope, not working. And so I'm going to start over again, sort of. I'm not sort of starting more over, but I'm adding another dark layer um, just to bring in some, some darkness to it so that I can rebuild that, that painting. And so I'm like, yep, gone. On to the next one. So days like this, when you're just starting out some blank canvases, it's painful, it's brutal, it's not exactly all that fun for me. Um, it's time consuming. And, uh, and this is where, if I'm going to be honest, a self doubt is going to creep in. And, uh, you know, I try not to have those inner conversations where it's like, <laughs> am I really a painter? Can I really do this? Maybe I finished my last good painting and that's it. Um, and that's when you have to walk away. Um, but I, I listened to, oh God, I was listening to uh, True Crime. I love True Crime podcasts. I listen to them every night before I go to bed. Probably not the best thing to listen to, but... I just rather enjoy it and so I love true crime garage and they had um, a little segment of John Lennon on there and an interview with him and he had talked about his process his creative process and and that you know when it really became work for him and the demands were so high it really killed his creativity and um, that speech, not speech, but that, that interview that he gave was, I couldn't have had a more perfect um, thing to listen to that night after this day. You know, I'm working five or six canvases 
and nothing's coming out even though this I know in my mind that this is what I need to do in order to get to my end finished pieces it's still frustrating um, and so you have to be easy on yourself anyway I digress um, John Lennon was talking about when he gave up music and he just did something else and filled his creativity tank that um, when it became fun, fun again and, and there was no pressure, the music was just flowing out of him. Um, his songwriting was exploding. And so I woke up the next morning and I was on fire. I was so excited. And, uh, and then I think I finished two of the pieces that I'm working on here. And I do have another video, part two of this one. And so once I'm done um, uh, editing the video and then adding some voice over, I'll upload that to my YouTube. But I hope you <laughs> learned something from this that, uh, you know, painting is not easy. There is a process to it. Uh, be easy on yourself. Take a break, walk away, and tomorrow's a new day. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.